Hey everybody, I'm Tom Tattle and welcome to my website traffic generating course for small business owners. In this four part series, I will cover all the fundamental free and paid tools that I use to drive traffic to my websites and as well as my customers' websites. I will avoid using technical terms and make this series easy to follow so that a complete beginner will be able to follow along and by the end of the uh, four step series here, we'll have a good grasp of how to actually promote your website, your small business website. So starting out module number one, we will cover Google Analytics. Now what is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is a free tool that shows you who, what, where, when, who, who is on your website and very important, first thing in order for you to get better with driving traffic and knowing exactly what's, uh, what's working, what's not working, is having a full set of metrics available to show you uh, the traffic on your website. You need to be able to measure that in order to know what works and what does not. Secondly, we will cover keyword research. I will show you uh, another free tool. Uh, what is a keyword? Keywords or key phrases are very important for a couple of reasons. When you're targeting customers in the search engines, uh, search engines need to know certain uh, keywords or key terms to know exactly what your website is related about. And also when you're targeting customers, when you're using pay-per-click advertising, you need keywords. And certain keywords will perform better than others. Certain keywords will be used to uh, for example, somebody in the market looking to buy uh, landscaping would be, you know, your city's, let's say, New York's best landscaping company. They're in the market to buy some services, landscaping services. So you want to target those keywords. That's a keyword. So I'll show you exactly how to find those keywords, how to uh, know what kind of volume is available in those keywords in your particular market. and moving on from there with keywords the third module is pay-per-click advertising now pay-per-click advertising um, to me is is the way to go it's paid targeted traffic to your website targeted meaning people in the market looking for your services that you provide your your business um, you're an auto dealer and you're trying to sell uh, cars, trucks, whatever, and you can target and you, you're in this city of say 30,000 people, you can narrow it down to just people in your city and target people that are doing searches for used vehicles say. And bang, right at the top of the search results, a ad for your company will appear and a good chance that being that's up, up at the top of the search results that they will click on it. And now you only pay if people actually click on your ad. So for example, uh, a landscaping company that I do pay-per-click advertising for, I was able to land a multi $10,000 annual contract from a simple $3 ad. So not all that, some, some ads are, you know, 30, 40, 50 cents. Some ads could be as high as uh, per click, could be very high if you're a lawyer, for example. But in general, most ads, pay-per-click ads, if they're clicked on, uh, you know, one dollar, two dollars, and a great lead. Somebody's in the market looking for your services in your city. It's a small investment to make to possibly gain a new customer. So I will cover pay-per-click advertising, all the best practices, uh, things to avoid, things that I've learned spending tens and thousands, tens and tens of thousands of dollars in pay-per-click advertising. Made tons of mistakes along the way, and I'll pass on all my my learning uh, curve onto you and, and, uh, and a whole bunch of resources for pay-per-click advertising to promote your small business in your local market. Um, and last but not least, the fourth module will cover what's called Google My Business. Now Google My Business, if you've ever seen, um, you've done a, a search in, in, uh, for a local service, let's say a painting company. So yeah, I live in New York and I'm looking for New York painting company I type in all of a sudden you see this map appear and all of these different businesses are listed and a few businesses are plotted out on the map 
How do you get your business on that map? That's called Google My Business. So we'll review Google My Business, how it works, how to get set up, and again, some fundamental points, uh, do's and don'ts with Google My Business. So those are the four modules we'll cover to get your small business up and going so people can actually find you in these search engines. Um, now, one thing I do want to disclose, I'm not affiliated with Google. I love Google. They have fantastic tools. I just want to disclose that I am not affiliated. I, I'm in this video promoting a lot of their free tools, uh, their pay-per-click advertising. Also, Bing also has a similar suite of tools if you're if you prefer to use Bing. Uh, you you can follow this tutorial and uh, apply a lot of these tools at, at, to Bing as well. You can research and look for those. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using the Google tools because they do dominate the market share. So uh, just follow along. I'm ready. If you're ready, let's get down to business.